Hey there, it's John here from leadgenpreneur.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to still create and use expanded text ads in the day and age we are right now. And if you're not aware, responsive ads are the only option that you can create here. When you click this plus icon, you can see responsive search ads are here, but the old expanded text ads are no longer here. And you might be wondering, how do I get these expanded text ads back? Well, the bad news is they're not coming back. But the good news is that you can still create expanded text ads within the responsive search ad option here. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So without any further ado, let me go ahead and get started here. And I have an example text ad drawn up here. It is using a generator, a Google Ads text generator. It's still following the expanded text ads framework, headline one, a headline two, a headline three, and then two descriptions, and then the display URL. That's not how things are right now, but what we're gonna do is recreate this expanded text ad within Google's current responsive ads world. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and click this plus icon Click responsive search ad. I'm going to say ad group one. And this is just a tutorial video. And we're using bed bugs, bed bug removal, bed bug exterminator as our example campaign and ad here. So if we wanted to recreate this, all we would need to do is grab headline one. I'm going to copy this, put this one here. Oops, put it there. Get headline two which is get a free extermination quote. Headline three is the brand. And now how we're going to make this a expanded text ad is by using the pins icons that you see here on each one of these fields. So here I'm going to say, show only this in position one. And then this one here, I'm gonna say show only in position two. And this one here, only in position three. And that's it. I'm not going to create and use these other headlines. And yeah, my ad strength will be a little poor or weak or whatever the case may be. But this is the way it has to be done if you want to continue using expanded text ads that may have worked for you in the past. Okay, so let's scroll down here and go to descriptions. Go ahead and copy this description here. And copy this description here. And we're only going to use, you guessed it, two descriptions. We're not going to add any more fields, but we are going to lock these into position here in position one and position two. Go ahead and save this ad, or we can save this ad now. I'm not going to do that because this is an example. I don't have an example domain for this, but this is exactly how you would still be able to use expanded text ads. And what you can also do when you start using expanded text ads, the way I'm showing you right here, is that you can split test expanded text ads in the way we've set things up. We can still split test headline one against the other ad that we're running, or we can split test an ad for the description one or description two, etc. so on and so forth. So that's pretty much how you do expanded text ads in this day and age. If you have any questions, do please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out our free training on landing pages and how to create high converting landing pages for paid advertising. It's for agencies, freelancers, and even business owners. So if you're in that camp and you're trying to get more leads for your business, make sure to check out our landing page free training. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in the next video.